Okay, so in this presentation, I'm just going to quickly go over how to export your blog into a format that you can hand in through Turnitin and also print. Now, it is important to remember that you are going to be marked on this, so make sure that you do make it look neat and legible. Now, one of the easiest ways is to use this thing called Anthologize, which I've installed for you. Okay. Come to the string, you click on the Anthologize link, it takes you to my project page. Click Add New, and you can give it a new. So I'm just going to call this Handing In Version, and uh, Andrew Davis. Save Project. And we just create an empty project that you can now come to edit. So here you can see project details, you can change the information you just added. Manage parts. And parts are what we're going to use. And Thorogize is a very simple system for creating an output of a blog. Just like producing a book or PDF. Okay? So, new part. Introduction. Save changes. And you see it appear here in red. So you have more parts which could be your subheading content run with whatever threats basic introduction to biology and I'm just going to keep adding these parts until, um, until I'm satisfied so I've now got a quick structure that I'm happy with here introduction, content run, content 2 to 3 obviously the next one would be for example references something like that all you do now is you have your post and this area here, automatically populated, I hope. If you have any problems, remember to drop me a line. Now you can drag these straight over and drop them into your individual sections. Really nice and simple. Ta-da! Once you've completed, click Export Project. Okay, and then just make sure you've got everything correct in here. Click next. Select format PDF. Page size A4, front 12, New Times Roman, or whatever you are interested in. And click export. In a few seconds, the software will take all of your content, concatenate it down, and create a single document and here we go and you can see how we have different pages okay so fairly simple way to do it there now if we go back one other way is to generate a word document now you can export your anthology into HTML as well, and that can be read into Word and that will allow you to do some minor editing of the structure if you require just save the file and I'm just opening this HTML file in Microsoft Word. So this allows you to neaten it up. And in case you can see, that I have an image not found error. So you can just copy and paste your images straight into here. You don't need this header here. These are just automatically generated from your gravatar etc and then you can really clean it up quite simple you see what I mean and then just save it and then print it and put it into uh, turn it in alternatively if you don't want to use anthologize then navigate to your blog and you can just go through each page just drag in copy in and pasting 
introvert. This is the benefit of making your pictures properly. Then you can quite simply just start formatting it very quickly to make it appear like what you want. But remember, you have to do every individual page. And then you have to double check it to make sure you haven't left any pages out. So entirely up to you how you go about doing this. In my opinion, the uh, anthologized way is slightly easier, but you will need to check to make sure your images are reproduced correctly. It's still a piece of software which is in a very early stage of development. So if you do have that issue with images not appearing, you may need to export it as HTML and copy your images in from the blog. Alternatively, just copy and paste every single page into Word, save it, submit it. Job done. Okay? Any questions, remember, you know where I am, you can drop me a line, either through the blog or via email.